So today I'm talking about a Kia with the P0441 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Kia P0441 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system, incorrect purge flow. And what does this mean? Well, modern cars have an EVAP system that helps contain all the gas vapors inside of the gas tank and they get sent back to the engine and get burnt off so they don't vent into the atmosphere. And the onboard computer seeing an error with this, so that to be troubleshooted, no why. And some of the possible causes, well, it could be a bad fuel cap, charcoal canister or vent valve could have an issue, could be a purge valve, could be a bad sensor, could be in the wiring, and possibly an EVAP leak. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go check the gas cap. Since the EVAP system needs to go into a slight vacuum in order to work properly, the gas cap is a part of the EVAP system since it needs to seal up. So go and check it and see if it's got any cracks or if it's got any damage or anything like that or if it's not sealing up correctly. It might be good and the problem might be somewhere else, but if it does look damaged or cracked or anything like this, then it's probably a good idea to go ahead and replace it. One thing to mention is if you do replace the gas cap be sure to get an oem original one for your particular year of kia since third party aftermarket gas caps sometimes they can cause issues so it's always a good idea to get the original gas cap for your particular year and model of kia so if you check out the gas cap and it all looks good then there's going to be a few components that need to be checked out inside the evap system be sure everything's working and the basics of what's going on with it is there's a hose and it leaves the gas tank and it goes up to a, what's called a charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister stores all the gas vapors when the engine's not running. And it also has the vent valve solenoid and it could be part of the charcoal canister or separate. It just varies. Quite commonly they're on the same package but they can't be separate. Then a hose leaves and goes up to the top of the engine where there's a purge vent valve solenoid. And what this does is it just opens when the engine's running so the gas vapors can go into the engine and get burnt off. And then when the engine's not running it closes so they don't escape. And so each of these components are going to have to be checked. And the first thing to do is go check out this purge vent valve solenoid. And it's just a small little solenoid, a small little valve. It'll have two hoses going to it and a wiring harness. And so the first thing to do is go check out this wiring harness. Be sure it's good, that there's no issues going on there. Because anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, anything like this can cause the same issues as a bad solenoid. So you want to check that out. And check out these hoses. Be sure there's no leaks, that they look good, like they're connected good, no cracks, anything like this. And you can't test this purge valve if you wanted to or replace it however you want to do it just be sure this purge valve is working correctly and one thing to mention is that this is on a fuse so if you're not getting no power to the circuit and check for a fuse inside the engine compartment it could be labeled different depending on the Kia year and model and everything but as you can see here this says sensors 2 which would be right here and it's it's saying purge control solenoid valve so if that fuse blew that purge valve wouldn't be working so that's something to keep in mind and so if the purge valve all looks good the next thing to go and check is going to be this charcoal canister and vent valve and this is going to be located up and underneath the vehicle somewhere by the gas tank and there's usually going to be a vent valve that's located on the charcoal canister although these can't be separate so it can vary it's just going to depend on the year but there's a vent valve that opens and shuts when the computer tells it to that's located somewhere on or near the charcoal canister and if you have a good obd to scan tool they usually have an option inside of there to enable the vent valve and you can hear it click if it's working if you don't have one then there's some different ways you can go about testing it but the next thing to go and do is to check out this charcoal canister and the vent valve and be sure it's all working properly be sure there's no leaks the wires are all connected and you can test the different components to be sure that it's working so if you check out the charcoal canister and the vent valve and that all looks good then the next thing is to check for a leak somewhere inside of all these hoses that goes around to everything there might be a leak somewhere and so what would happen if you took it to a mechanic is that they'd hook up a smoke machine to the evap system and they'd feed smoke into it and wherever the smoke came out they'd know there where there was a leak at and they'd be able to fix it now you likely aren't going to have a smoke machine but what you can do is go around to all these hoses that go to everything like up here at the purge valve all the way down to the charcoal canister all the way around and really examine these hoses check for any cracks or anything that might be leaking because if there is any leaks in there it could cause an issue so go around to all these hoses and really examine them and be sure that there doesn't look like there's any leaks going on and the last thing to check is going to be the sensor that's located somewhere inside the system there's a pressure sensor that reports back to the onboard computer what's going on with the whole system and if it fails there might not be an issue inside the evap system but the onboard computer thinks there is since the sensor failed or is reporting bad data and this can be located differently depending on the kia it could be located on the fuel pump Pump. it could be over by the charcoal canister sometimes it really just varies so you have to google it to find out exactly where it's at on your particular kia but the next thing to go and check would be the pressure sensor and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a kia with the p0441 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day